let's put the Seahawks on the board. Go inside their draft room now. Daniel Jeremiah, Bucky Brooks, what do we think? All right, Bucky. Well, Charlie Cassidy really outlined the needs of this football team and the direction that they could go here. Well, let's put a couple scenarios together. We've got the two third-round picks here, so we've got two scenarios. We've got eight players to come up with. Let's start us off pick number 26 here. Offensive line, I'm going to go off the grid. How about LaRaven Clark from Texas Tech? Long, rangy athlete, a guy who has the length to snuff out those elite rushers. Get him with Tom Cable, allow him to work on his footwork. He could be a guy that could play left tackle. If you don't like him in left, I think you can kick him to right tackle. Yeah, you talk about length. That is a long dude right there. All right, let's go defense. Let's go linebacker. Let's go USC. A pick number 56, Sua Cravens. But Pete Carroll is going to have all the information, all the inside scoop here on the Trojan. But Sua Cravens, that versatility, that playmaking ability. Can you imagine throwing him in there with a Bobby Wagner and a KJ Wright? He'd be a great fit here for the Seahawks. Like the instincts, the way he chases the ball, has that hybrid ability as a linebacker safety, gives him some more versatility in the back end. I'm not going to tell you who you got to take with this one. <laughs> but I already but I have know a favorite. One of your Thank favorite you. guys Thank about you. Adam Gotsis being able to be a stout interior presence on the inside. Gives them the size, the girth, the physicality and toughness that they want. They like to roll them in in waves. He's a guy that certainly could crack the rotation. All right, we've done a nice job here. We've got an offensive line. We've got a linebacker. We've got a DT. How about we get a corner and one of those big corners that Seattle loves? Let's go to Burris from NC State. We had to add to the Legion of Boom. We want long, rangy guys, guys that are athletic, guys that have ball skills. They want to get nose to nose. He's a guy that certainly can play that way. Enhances the Legion of Boom. Now they're deep and talented in the back end. All right, scenario number one. Let's go scenario number two. And how about we go deep? defense here at 26 to start us off. I mean, I think this guy's a perfect fit for the Seattle Seahawks. You can talk about being an underachiever. Maybe there's some character concerns, but in terms of the talent, he has all the talent that you look for. Put him inside. Allow him to play with those guys up front. He is going to alleviate some of the pressure on Michael Bennett. I like this pick for Seattle. If he's there, I think they run the card. All right, Robert Kimdichie here at 26. Now let's go offensive line. Let's come back. UCLA, your guy Tom Cable, he's going to know everything there is to know about a UCLA Bruin here. And Caleb Beninock, another one can play inside at, or inside at guard, can play outside at tackle. The versatility, very valuable. They've done a great job of getting production out of the guys that some people wouldn't cast in their starting lineup. But he's a guy that I like. I like the versatility, the athleticism. Tom Cable could have a nice project to work with. All right, Buck, we've gone through, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six players. You haven't mentioned a Clemson <laughs> football player you yet, know, Bucky. If, if you didn't know me any better, you would think that I'm a Tiger. But B.J. Goodson is a nice fit, someone that's catching a lot of buzz, rangy athlete, physical, tough. They like smart, fast, tough players. He's one that certainly fits the bill. Yeah, B.J. Goodson has not got enough attention throughout this process. All right, I'm going to go one more favorite here. Another, another favorite. Alex Lewis, a tackle from Nebraska here in the third round. Somebody that has that size is going to fit in well what Tom Cable wants to do. You've got two really, really good athletes here in Beninock and Alex Lewis, two young guys in their first four picks to help fortify that offensive line. But i got to be honest here, Bucky, this is just rounds one through three. And John Schneider and Pete Carroll, they've made their name and what goes on after this point in time. I look for them to hit a home run again this year.